Sounds like I've got a message on the vid phone. Okay, welcome back. I'm just gonna continue playing where I left off. Hi, Tex. I need to talk to you as soon as possible. Could you come over to my father's house whenever you get this message? No matter how late it is, I'll be waiting for you. Ah, the mating call of the blonde bird of prey. Well, I guess it goes without saying you ran right over there. If I'd known how dangerous the situation was, I would have stopped to buy a gun. Turned out Sylvia had been talking to Mr. Absolute all evening. Solved this damn mystery by now, haven't you? <laughs> All the text you've written. Mm -hmm. And here I am. Sylvia Linsky, the bereaved client whose daddy took a dive into the San Francisco Bay. <laughs> that sounds interesting, doesn't it? <laughs> sounds like you've had too much to oh, drink. Don't tell me I've had too much to drink. I have plenty to drink about. More than you know. <laughs> That's just a grief talk. <laughs> what do you know about grief? Huh? Is your daddy dead? Did your mom walk out on you before you could even pronounce your own name? Huh? <laughs> I didn't think so. <sighs> you know what it's like to be absolutely alone? That's what I am now, alone. I, I don't have anybody now. Sylvia, I'm really sorry. Don't, don't, don't pity me. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Go away. What you don't need is any more of this. <laughs> what you do need is some betting pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Murphy, I'm surprised that you're taking advantage of a woman who's had too much to drink. <laughs> uh, Let's not, Sylvia. I require my victims to be at least sober enough to sign a waiver. You passed that point a long time ago. Mm, don't you like me, Tex? I like you. That's why I put you to bed. Now I'm gonna leave. You're no fun. Not one bit. Good night, Sylvie. Good night. I like you too, Tex. You're not gonna like anything in the morning. You know, when we first met, it wasn't all that different from your night with Sylvia. But of course, you were the one that was sloppy drunk. What? You are talking about the Bastille Day celebration at the Bruin Stew? Oh, I wasn't that drunk. Oh no, we, we met before Louis' party. Don't you remember? Come on, sweetie. Oh, I do remember something, but I thought that was a dream. It's all kind of fuzzy. Come on, time to go home. Oh, no, 
literally one more. Hey, huh? hey, let's get going, bud. Come on. Morning. You've got places to go. I've got. Oh, oh come on, guy. Get out of here. Look Sorry. at what you've done to my stand. I can get those. No, I don't Sorry, need your help. Let me help. help you with that. Get your hands off me, you pervert! Yeah, I guess that wasn't a very promising start. Now I know why I don't remember. You punched me. I mean, my jaw hurt for a week, and I never did figure out why. Well, it was kind of a down period in my life. Well, things have gotten better. Haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I'm dying to find out how you went from the starched, pressed, young P.I. to a puddle of drool. Let's hear some more about your story. Well, you're making it sound so glamorous. What did you do after you left Sylvia? Well, the next morning, Dolores Lightbody contacted me. She had got an appointment with Arnold Sternwood out at the North Hill Clinic. And I went out to see him. Mr. Murphy, this won't take long, will it? I have an extremely full docket. Okay. Well, good thing the audio wasn't quiet back there. These subtitles just cannot keep up. I don't know why. I get well. I can, I can take a guess. I can take a few guesses. But uh, you know, at least I can play the game. Um. Right, yeah, I think it's a CPU. Yeah, of course. Oh, well, don't worry. I gotta make it quick because I'm double parked out in front of the emergency room. So, what can I do for you? Well, I've always been fascinated by any kind of medical facility. Could you tell me about North Hill? We offer every type of quality health care and are rated among the 10 best hospitals in the world. Wow. So working here is not only fun, it's prestigious too. If that were so, why would Karolinski leave? He signed a deal to write a book. His daughter would probably have more details, especially if there was any money involved. Confidentially, I'd try to determine whether Carl's daughter had something to do with his suicide. Whatever you do, don't let her get her hooks into you. Well, not that it's any of your business, but I'm a professional. Miss Linsky, she needed a private investigator, so she hired me. She's paying my tab, but that's all. She's paying, huh? That's a switch. I don't mean to be unaccommodating, Mr. Murphy, but I really do have urgent matters to attend to. Look, sorry, can I just have a couple of minutes? I don't want to seem rude, but I really do have many pressing engagements. Let's stick to business, shall we? Oh, this is business. That young woman is trouble. I won't burden you with the details. Suffice it to say that she has a way with older men and knows how to get what she wants. Carl gave me no indication of being suicidal. Of course, I hadn't seen him in over two months. That company supplies us with many technologically advanced medications, including what you might call anti-aging drugs. They're very much on the cutting edge in their field. The stills, the still images, it's like a downgrade. It's because they weren't, um, I, I don't know if 
if the game got like some kind of pass for the videos, like if they they upgraded them in any way, upscaled them, no idea. It's like they couldn't even do a loop like in the previous versions. I'm trying to think about how it was done in the other ones. If I think this is bad, you should see the first game. Oh, I wanted to play the first one, but I was told to play the the FMV one first. I'll probably go back and play the originals when I'm done. But I'm just going to keep going through the story for, for you know, from where I am. And then we'll do like a prequel or like a episode 1 and episode 2 if you will. Going back to the past. I know it's on like DOS or something. It's like super old. But I've played games like that before, so it's I don't know. It wouldn't be like strange to me. I can't give you any details regarding that. Let's keep going through these. Let's ask him about chess. I've been known to play chess on occasion, in those rare moments when I have time for leisure. I believe she was Kong's fiance, as well as the executor of his will. I didn't know her prior to Carl's death. One who worked for us as an intern, he was fired as a result of his unprofessional behavior. I have no idea where he is now. Until Ms. Lightbody contacted me, I was unaware that Carl had made North Hill a beneficiary in his will. I consider it an honor to work here in light of the clinic's well-deserved reputation. I've never heard of it. He's never heard of life insurance? I assure you, Mr. Murphy, I had no part in the death of Carl Linsky. <laughs> that was so suspicious. I assure you, Mr. Murphy, I had no part in the death of Carl Linsky. The, the way he looks at you when he says that. Miss Peck worked for Capricorn. While I respect her professionalism and the ideas of the organization for which she works, I don't look back on our brief association with any fondness. I can't give you any details regarding that. I've never heard of it. I don't know who that is. I've never heard of it. About a year ago, Capricorn came to us, to Carl Linsker specifically, with allegations of unethical research practices. His charges were completely without merit. But Carl decided to take a voluntary leave of absence, and Capricorn decided to not pursue the investigation. Carl worked here for 26 years. Over the past few years, his age forced him to give up surgery in favor of research. We were friends, though not extremely close. I was sorry to learn of his premature death. I'm busy, Murphy. Make it quick.
Never heard of it. I haven't got any information on that. She was some sort of research scientist. Her family had us investigate her death, but we didn't find any evidence to indicate that it was anything but accidental poisoning. Never heard of it. I've heard of it, but I don't have any privileged information about it. What topic would you like us to research? A search for information on Capricorn has been initiated. What other topic would you like us to research? A search for information on SF has been initiated. What other topic would you like us to research? A search for information on Overlord has been initiated. What other topic would you like us to research? A search for information on Karolinsky's life insurance has been initiated. What other topic would you like us to research? A search for information on Rona Morgan has been initiated. What other topic would you like us to research? Thank you for using the American Information Database. Civilian Agency for the Protection of the Rights of Individuals and the Creation of Order, Reason, and Neutrality. What? Well, I I think it wants us to go here, but I kind of want to see if we can go anywhere else and find anything or talk to anyone else. Tex, let me apologize for last night. The things I said were 10% depression and... 90% alcohol. So dramatic. Hopefully there's something I can do to make it up to you. If there's anything else you need, just ask. I don't know what that is. If my father was planning on dumping Dolores, it wouldn't be a surprise. I never understood what he saw in her in the first place. My father loved chess. He used to say I'd be a good player, but I've never been interested in it. <sighs> She's a hideous woman. If she weren't handling my father's will, I would have nothing to do with her. As I said, my father's will is more trouble than it's worth. I wonder why. That's where my father worked. He was highly respected in his profession. Now 
I'll admit, I could use the insurance money, but I doubt I'll ever get it. He runs North Hill Clinic. I don't know him very well, but I've seen him around. I don't know anything about it. Doesn't sound familiar. I've never heard of her. How can we trust any of these women after what happened in the previous game? Hmm, so, you found the policy. Well, not that it's going to do me any good, but who knows? Maybe things will work out. My father had some kind of run-in with them a while ago, but he didn't give me any details. That there was an object on the seat. It's just lighting. I wonder if she's like in the world for you to find her. No, she's not. I hope that's not truly lost. That was a really cool feature of the game. So far, it's just wander around empty rooms and fast travel from point A to point B, or wherever you need to go, with cutscenes, wherever you do end up going. It's such a, a change from the, the other games. I feel like with each game, it's losing more and more of what made it like cool and good. I'm noticing more and more things like taken out of the game. Okay. Um. Hello. I knew you'd be back. I just never dreamed it would be so soon. Well, the last time I was here, you were a big help. And I do mean that literally. <laughs> anything to help. <laughs> anything. I seem to remember Carl mentioning somebody with those initials. It was, it was Sunny, Sunny something or other, Sunny Fletcher. Yes, I'm certain that it was Sunny Fletcher. Sunny Fletcher. She knows too much. Never intended as a full-on sequel, let alone the final Tex Murphy game. Director Adrian Carr said it was created solely as a demonstration for a new Intel computer chip and it definitely feels like it too you know whenever we're in menus like this or the UI is like being called up my video card just spins up non-stop like it doesn't stop the fan but then when we're back in the game silence I'm afraid I haven't heard of it. I don't know who that is. That's some sort of spy organization. Carl didn't think too fondly of it for some reason. I think he was a PI, like you. Although I doubt he was as handsome. I don't know what he was doing for Carl. Okay. 
still haven't figured out how to use this thing. So we come back after more battle. Let's go here. I dealt with Capricorn in one of my later cases, but this was the first time in the Capricorn building. I mean, the exterior was impressive, but what I saw inside was dynamite. Some woman, I'd guess. Well, from your choice of metaphors, I don't think I'm going to like this part of the story very much. Want a pack? How may I help you, Mr. Murphy? I'm sorry, hold on. <sighs> sorry about that. Okay. Um... Weren't you in the Miss Universe pageant last year? Yes. I was working undercover at investigating allegations of bra zapping. Well, that's good work if you can get it. The ultimate cliche. What is that? I have to know. Of course. So what is a gorgeous woman like you doing in a place like this? Why didn't you just tell me the reason for your visit? I'm a PI. I've been hired to look into the apparent suicide of a man named Carl Linsky. Your name was in his notes. I read about Linsky's death. I was sad about it. But why do you want to talk to me? Take a seat. Look, I'm sad. Look how sad I am. Okay. I admit this was a pretense, but I really wanted to get your attention. Well, now that we've met, why don't we get down to the real reason you're here? I would prefer to keep our relationship strictly professional if you don't mind, but perhaps we can help each other out. Never heard that name before? Can't help you there. I play occasionally, but I like my sports a little more physical. As you probably know, the clinic has an outstanding reputation. We were surprised when the allegations against Karolinski came up. As the director of the clinic, he was understandably eager to avoid any scandal and was very helpful throughout our investigation of Karolinski. I keep hearing the word overlord, especially linked to the law and order party. I don't know if it's a person in place or thing, but it seems to represent a lot of power. Never heard that name before? Capricorn's primary mission is to identify, then infiltrate organizations suspected of practicing extreme discrimination. These include everything from UFO cults to hate groups to unethical research scientists. <laughs> okay. Can't help you there.
We're putting a lot of our resources into investigating law and order. Their legal people make sure they don't cross the line publicly, but their ideology is pretty frightening to anyone with any intelligence or belief in human rights. About a year ago, we were told that Mr. Linsky was conducting unethical practices on comatose and terminally ill patients at North Hill Clinic. I looked into the matter, but was unable to prove anything. Mr. Linsky voluntarily took a leave of absence, saying he had other projects to pursue, so we decided to drop the investigation. Listen, Mr. Murphy, I've been cooperative, and I've answered all your questions already. I'm under no obligation to help you any further. Maybe you'd prefer someone from Capricorn to come by and ask you some questions. I don't like being threatened. Ask your questions, then get out and don't come back. I don't know who that is. I am sympathetic to the Law and Order Party platform, though I'm not a registered member of the Law and Order Party itself. You certainly are a persistent rogue, aren't you? What can I do for you this time? It feels like they took the adventure game out of the adventure game. Well, they're a bit too right-wing for me, but I, I do agree with many of their policies. Oh, and they have the most handsome and attractive gubernatorial candidate. I don't know, it's still there, kind of. I'm busy, Murphy. Make it quick. Older guy. He's a PI like you, or used to be. He has a little problem with the bottle. I don't meddle in politics, but I like most of what I've heard from the Law and Order Party. It's about time government did something to clean up the streets and get rid of all the illegals. It's more of a detective game. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of um, L.A. Noir in a way. What can I do to help? Doesn't sound familiar. I'm not really interested in politics, but I can tell you my father didn't care much for the Law and Order Party. What topic would you like us to research? A search for information on Sonny Fletcher has been initiated. What other topic would you like us to research? A search for information on Law and Order Party has been initiated. What other topic would you like us to research? Thank you for using the American Information Database. Goodbye. Text Murphy Light.
Okay. Now what? So, how is your investigation progressing? Fine. You know, when I was here before, I forgot to mention that I cook, I clean, and I'm a love machine. You flatter me, but uh, I'd be more comfortable if it kept this professional. What have you found out? I don't have any information on that. I'm busy, Murphy. Make it quick. Okay, look. Fletch has had a few DUIs. He's a friend of the Colonel's, and as a favor, we didn't make him do any time. If you can keep that to yourself, I'll call Fletch's parole officer and let you know where you can find Sonny. Okay. The address Detective Clements got from Sonny Fletcher's parole officer turned out to be a filthy, vermin-infested motel. It was a dump, I and mean, it smelled like a porta potty at a chili cook-off. Okay, okay, I get the point. Sorry. I just couldn't imagine why Carl Linsky would hire a detective who lived in a place like that. What do you want? Yeah, I've got some great news. Uh, your parole officer says the cops are almost positive that you didn't kill Carl Linsky. Hmm. What makes you think I know Carl Linsky? Listen, Sonny, all I need is a few minutes out of your busy schedule. So, your P.I.? I like to say, brother, takes one to know one. My name's Murphy. All right. Come in, Murphy. I'll talk to you. Mi casa es tu casa. Thanks. Close the door. Nice place. Yeah. My travel agent got it for me. I'd get a new travel agent. <laughs> Is this your permanent residence? It just might be, why? That's just... It's like you're hiding out from bill collectors or something. Mmm, I guess you could say that. Come on! What do you want from me, huh? I understand Carl Linsky had hired you. At least, before he died. I had nothing to do with Carl Linsky buying the farm. Bible truth. Mm. The Bible says the truth will set you free. Oh. What were you working on with Linsky? Uh, okay, I guess I can tell you now, it doesn't matter. He wanted me to find some people for him. Why? I don't know. Man gives me a list of names and I go to work, okay? If you don't mind me saying, why would Litsky hire you? You don't look like you're in much condition to be working. That's low. I haven't had a drink in almost two years! Until last week! I guess you're pretty thirsty by then. You're funny, man! You're so funny.
What are you working on with Linsky? <sighs> Look, uh, I just tracked down two people, all right? It was a Val Davis and a Rona Morgan. Didn't take me any time. I found out where they were. They were in the ground, and they hadn't been there too long. Is that when you dropped the case? Yeah, around there. Look, I... I prefer not to talk about this anymore, okay? Okay. Gracias. If you could just give me some more information about the names on the list. I can't remember! Come on, don't hold out on me. You want a bribe or something? You know that's illegal. I can't remember! Bible's truth! Mm. Okay, I'm gonna give it to you straight. I'm working on Linsky's suicide, and I just need some information, a clue or a lead, something to keep the thing going. Wait a minute. All right. Tell me to hang on to it, a bee's hop, in case anything happened to him. Just a bishop. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Just a warning. You better get off this case right now. Judgment Day is looking for me. Good look for you, too. You better get out, amigo. I'll keep your warning in mind. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll see each other around. Yeah, maybe. Hey. I'll shut the door. What a character. I'm busy, Murphy. Make it quick. She was a professor at USF. Died in a speeder wreck a couple of weeks ago. I guess you're gonna tell me it wasn't an accident, right? You've got quite an imagination. How is everything? I've never heard of her. How did you know it was a woman? Busted. Cracked the case. Let's see what this does. What's this? Two pieces for the price of one. Oh.
Okay. Pass card E. Well, if they use the same alphabet I do, that means there are at least five of these cards floating around. Maybe more. Linsky didn't strike me as the sort of guy who'd use random profanity, no matter how mild. This may be a message or a code. Maybe... maybe this? But... I don't know what part of that I would type in. All of it? Just that? Do I add the periods? He didn't strike me as the sort or, of guy use random profanity, no matter how mild. Or a message or a wait. Linsky didn't strike me as the sort of guy who'd use random profanity, no matter how mild. This may be a message or a code. Or do I have to rearrange the letters to form the word? That would be the other thing. I mean, I see bishop. That would make sense because we got the code from a bishop. It's like being really obvious with the clue here, I think. Yeah, it immediately... I didn't even hit enter. I thought it was going to have us, like, create clones of the, uh, the card or something. This is probably to scan in documents later. I don't know. I'll bet this computer is important, but it's got a security protect feature. I'll need to attach a pass card reader and use a security card with it before it'll operate. Well, um, I thought we got a, a new, oh yeah, here, okay. The Fresno address was in the heart of the hot zone, in what might have been a strip mall, at least before the bombs fell. It seemed pretty obvious the place was a front, a red herring meant to throw off any passing bloodhounds. But I'd made the trip, so I decided to check it out. Well, 
someone left their day planner behind. I like seeing what exciting things other people get to do. Three times three. Looks like there were a few packing boxes left over from the move. A handsome display of commemorative plates. Interesting. Looks like the plates can be rotated. Oh yeah, look, there's like a... an arrow. What is this? There are three different appointments. Dinner on Monday in San Francisco at 6 p.m. Lunch on Tuesday in Paris at 2 p.m. Breakfast in Sydney on Thursday at 9 a.m. Hope this person can keep track of time zones. And what's this note about three sets of three? Must be important. Okay. Some display of commemorative plates. Interesting. Looks like the plates can be rotated. How? Everywhere I click, nothing happens. Maybe there's a secret. Now, why would they leave a perfectly good bookcase be? Uh huh. Oh. Oh, weird. Insert and deleter is left and right strafing. A safe. It appears to be connected somehow to the commemorative plate display. Oh, it's this is just what it opens. Okay. Let's look around the room. Oh. Electric bill. I wonder how old this thing is. It's like mail still being delivered to this address. Looks like there were a few packing boxes left over from the move. Oh, wait. Huh? Now it lets me do it? What changed? That's kind of buggy. Maybe I just wasn't in the right spot. You have to stand here. Okay, so the times... Uh, I have to look again. There are three different appointments. Dinner on Monday in San Francisco at 6 p.m. Lunch on Tuesday in Paris at 2 p.m. Breakfast in Sydney on Thursday at 9 a.m. I hope this person can keep track of time zones. And what's this note about three sets of three? Must be important. Three sets of three.
<laughs> yeah, I got the special plate rotating tool. It, I, I think it was the, uh, the bookshelf, I guess, yeah. He did, like, reveal the, the full puzzle so that when you complete it, uh, the thing isn't in the way. Um, maybe I should write this down. So, I'm gonna go get a pencil. Okay. can't be this easy, right? No, it's not. Well, there was a chart here on the wall, right? Okay, there's a nine hour difference between here and here. And, and here. is another nine. It's a map of the world with three different time zones highlighted. Okay. So... A handsome display of commemorative play. Um, this... Is like six o'clock, right? Oh wait, it was supposed to be six p.m. How do we set the ah? Uh. I wonder if the other one would still have worked. Well, l let's still assume that it wants me to do the time zones. Like, if it's six o'clock here, then it has to be like 3 a.m. And then That would be like noon. Oh. Okay. I yeah, okay. So you you have to lock in 
uh, each of the the times. So for the the second appointment, two o'clock. Okay, so. If it's two here. Okay. go backwards oh I see it turns okay it turns clockwise if you click on the right side of it okay okay now the third appointment was at nine up I think let's try that again this should be nine that should be where it is And I thought this was 3 p.m. Oh, I, maybe I, I like clicked one off. I don't, I don't know. A photograph. photo of Carl Linsky is about the last thing I'd expect to find in a safe in an abandoned office in the middle of a hot zone. Something tells me I need to find out who the other guy in the photo is. With all the devastation in this area, I'm surprised this building is still standing. When I returned to Sonny's motel room, he wasn't there, but he'd left a letter for me taped to the door. Oh boy, reading time. I'm sorry, I'm not reading this out loud.
<laughs> what? This doesn't sound like the person that we just talked to and met. Just like dropping all this backstory on us. Go avenge your wife. Three interlocking cog wheels are fixed to the walls. Hmm, mysterious. We're still in America, I'm pretty sure it was in Tucson. And I can't look at the letter anymore. Because the game is cool like that. Three interlocking cog wheels are fixed to the walls. Hmm, mysterious. Well, I'm no expert on Anasazi culture, but it looks to me like I'll have to line up the red dots on the cogs to the corresponding red marks on the wall. I wonder if there's some way to like figure that out if there's some trick to it I don't know we'll come back to that again no music I wonder if I save the game if it'll come back no nothing
I guess this is the way in, but in where? Wooden box. Looks like a brick with an Anasazi figure drawn on it. An old guidebook. Maybe this will help me find my way around here. Not what you'd call lush vegetation. It's like a pile of good-sized sticks. <laughs> Ceremonial chamber, one of the earliest forms of nightclubs known to man. Ceremonial chamber, ceremonial chamber, one of the earliest forms of nightclubs known to man. Whoa, that snake doesn't look very friendly. And it doesn't look like it's gonna move away from that brick anytime soon. Maybe I can bait it into moving. Well, that won't work. This won't work by itself. Okay, maybe we need to like get another tool or somehow create fire or something. I was thinking maybe create a trap with the box and the sticks, but I, I can't combine the two. So I don't know. Probably need more things. view is probably a big selling point for the Anasazi. Couple of long, sturdy poles. I guess this is the way in, but...
Nothing puts a smile on my face like a little pot. Well, this looks suspiciously like a primitive fishing pole. Yet another mystery of the Anasazi. That looks like something that I could attach to the box. <laughs> I think something is happening. Oh, oh, it did the thing I wanted. Yes, okay. I cannot believe that worked. I think those animations are broken whenever you're... Oh, look. The bricks. Whenever you're combining items. I think it's supposed to show the things like... Well, my guess is like maybe the... The image icon is supposed to like zoom into the other one and then they like combine. And then it zooms out with the new picture, but the... Again, I, I think maybe that animation is broken. And maybe that's just how I'm imagining how how it works. I don't know. I, I wonder what it's supposed to do. Interior decorating. Anasazi style. Well, there's no apparent way to open this door. Maybe it's connected somehow to that weird thing on the other wall. The holes in the walls are the same size as the bricks I've found with the Anasazi drawings on them. I'm guessing that eight bricks inserted into the correct openings will cause something cool to happen. I don't think I have everything I need to try this yet. Oh, it won't let you attempt it because it's going to time the puzzle. Okay. I can't leave this. Absolutely nothing to say about the pipe. No dialogue at all. Wonder what that's for. It was broken for you too? Yeah. Again, old game. Whatever. Well. Okay. Smoking. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Here. Well, that's not gonna work. Why? We were so close. That doesn't seem to do anything. This won't work by itself. the toy the fake mouse a reason to go in the box
Okay. <laughs> that animation. Oh. What's that? A length of rope made of woven fibers. Can't inspect this. Oh, there. I think we need to go back and look for more bricks. Hmm, this door doesn't open. I'll have to find another way in. I guess this is the way in, but... What do snakes eat? Uh, I don't know, bananas? Hey, I was trying anything I could. I don't know. Interior decorating, Anasazi style. I wasn't considering the mouse because I didn't think it would think it was real. But Snake is stupid. I didn't mean to pull that menu up. Why? Go away, please. Teleport? What just happened? Oh, that's like the exit for the... Oh, my bad. I thought that was just a window. I wanted to look out of it. I thought going somewhere around here was going to be the way out. Whoa. There's a bucket down there with a brick in it. If I can find something to hook onto the bucket handle with... I could take a closer look at the brick. <laughs> this won't work by itself. Okay, we still have we we still have this gear puzzle thing here. I don't know how we're supposed to do that one other than trial and error. I don't know where these other bricks are. <laughs>
Okay, guess it's just gonna be a lot of wandering around. I don't know where to go or find. Gotta look in places I've already looked. Okay, how many do I have now? I'm missing one of them. Maybe the puzzle with the gears. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. I'll just keep trying it. Is it done? The thing is open? It lies. I was so focused on the puzzle that I I was ignoring this part of the screen and I just noticed that there was a hole here and I just thought maybe like something I did opened it and I, just, I was just like sitting here doing the puzzle for no reason.
Oh, I see. We need to line them up to the top. Oh my god. Does it reset it? I don't think it does. No, I don't think it does. Let's let's look at where they are right now, okay? Oh, it does. I'm sorry. Okay. Hmm. Oh, my gamer score. I'm going to have no points when I'm done with this puzzle. God. Oh, 
I'm trying to watch what this does to the, the gears as I'm hitting them to try to see any kind of pattern and I'm just struggling so hard and I don't know why. It just feels like I'm pulling levers and waiting for something to happen. <laughs> The middle one turns the most. Like, I don't see any real chin. Like, this slightly moves, like, every time. Like, this goes one left. I have no idea. Okay.
I'm trying to move this. Maybe it has to be this one. I mean, I know this is a full rotation. I know this manipulates the one on the left, and this one manipulates this one in the middle as well. A lot of them turn other ones. Like, you just have to, like, alternate between them, I guess. I don't know. I... I'm going to spam this one.
I don't know. I think I'm going to look it up. I don't care enough about this. I'm sorry. Hold on. Wait, these can move both ways? What the fuck? That adds like a whole other part of the puzzle. Don't give me the puzzle. I'm not reading that. I didn't realize that, that you could move it up and down because it's just it doesn't tell you that when you click on it it just goes down
Oh my god. Puzzles. How do they work? Well, I'm pretty sure I've got all the bricks I need. This thing has eight rows on each side. Maybe if I insert the bricks so there's only one in each horizontal, vertical, and diagonal row, I might be able to solve this thing. The holes in the wall were the same size as the bricks I'd found with the Anasazi drawings on them. It seemed likely that I'd have to insert the bricks into the correct openings. Then I assumed something really cool would happen. What? Oh. Oh. Um... It's supposed to be like no diagonals, right? I mean like only diagonals, like nothing can touch it. That that's like how I interpreted that. I don't know if these things have to be in certain spots. I didn't see anything that like I don't know. I, maybe they have to somehow pass over the middle ones too. I have no idea.
maybe one on each row. Secret passage. One of my favorite things. Uh, rare Anasazi light fixtures. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Thinking about realms of the hunting. Leather strips. This must have been the local jerky hut. Sazi light fixtures. There are more structures over there. Looks as though a natural bridge spanned this at one time, but it's long gone. I guess I need to find another way across, but how? We make our own ladder, our own bridge. Broken. That was funny. These glasses don't seem to have been here very long. I wonder if they could be Bosworth Clark's. Something tells me this is a bad omen. Secrets. Tape. Okay. Can we put the, put the sunglasses on? Glasses are gone. We have tape. Blood. I wonder what made these markings from the metal door to the wall. 
Maybe if I can get past that metal door, I can at least figure out the origin of the trail. Now, whatever's behind this panel must control the door. One thin dime. What I could use right now is a lucky penny, but this'll just have to do. Pocket watch. Doesn't appear to have been wound recently. Ah, rare Anasazi light fixtures. That must be another way out of here. Spring. Well, we can use the coin as a screwdriver. Aha. Huh. Uh -huh. Broken cables. Looks like someone was messing around with this. One of the wire connections is broken. I'll need to find something to repair it with, and be careful not to short the whole thing out. Maybe I need to insulate the wires before the door will open. Well, that won't work. As I entered Clark's lab, something caught my eye. What was it? It was blood. It was all over the floor. I probably walked into the middle of a murder scene, and the question was, where was Bosworth Clark? Something tells me if these display monitors were on, I might find out what Bosworth Clark was working on. That's not how cables work. Good thing it's the future. There's a lot going on in this room here. Clark's taste in posters is banal at best. Calendar doesn't tell me too much. Certainly appears to be a lamp. This cabinet's one of the only places to store things in, in here. Appears to be a pass card reader. Probably need to use it to get computer access. Now this must be the smoking section. disc player. This must have been Clark's only entertainment out here in the middle of nowhere. I thought my having a cot would be unique, but uh, apparently not. Someone must have gone through this place. Luckily, there wasn't much to mess up. Plenty of chairs. I wonder if Clark was working alone. Clark must really have a thing for satellites. thing working. I've had a hard enough time operating anything more high-tech than a coffee maker. Something tells me if these display monitors were on, I might find out what Bosworth Clark was working on. A piece of paper with a single word written on it and held to the side of the console with a magnet.
I've always enjoyed working with models, but I prefer the kind with two legs. The computer looks like it should work, but it's got a weird keypad on it. Looks like I have to press these buttons in a certain sequence to open the storage cabinet. Each button has a unique tone. Maybe there's a reference to the sequence somewhere in here. Uh, okay. Let's look at what we found so far. Yeah, Simon says it's exactly what I thought it was going to be as well, but it seems like it's going to be based on sound. Maybe we have to watch something. What? Skipping animations for some reason. Well, we looked at the ashtray and found this matchbook that's burnt. Some kind of lodge. Magnet. Question is, is this the unpronounceable name of some Anasazi god, or something even less obvious? This is probably going to be another, uh, scrambled word. I think it's checkmate. I, I wonder if all these are going to be chess related. Okay, we need to find like a CD or something to listen to. to be a smoke alarm. Well, this smoke alarm wasn't designed to detect smoke. With any luck, the little camera inside detected something even more interesting. Well, that was too easy. R2? What's wrong? Bosworth? Oh, yes, yes. Bosworth Clark? Yes. Play a little game. <laughs> One in six chances. <laughs> Lucky boy. One more time. No, don't. 